Hey everybody, my name is Ross Holmes. I'm a fiddle player and violinist here in Nashville, Tennessee, and it's an honor to talk with you today about a couple practice points that I think are, are effective and useful as you develop and explore and come to know your instrument a little bit better. You know, playing the violin, uh, we spend a lot of time uh, focusing and, and investing energy into our uh, improvement of our bow arm, our right arm. It's the same with people who use picks, flat pick or finger pick for a guitar, or mandolin or banjo, any plectrum instrument. You spend a lot of time working on the, uh, the thing that is going to produce the sound out of your instrument. Oftentimes we forget that so much of the tone expressed through our instruments comes from our left hand, our playing hand. I know on the violin, it's been a, a fun thing for me to practice where I land my finger, specifically which part of the finger I'm, I'm pressing on my fingerboard. So if I play a B note on the A string, right on the tip of my finger, I have a callus that's developed on the tip of my finger, and when I land and I put pressure with my first finger here, the note sounds clear and it sounds strong. If I roll my finger back just a little bit and play on a little bit more of the fleshy part of, the string, of, of my finger, same bow pressure, same bow attack, but you can hear how the note's just a little bit different sound. It's not that it's thinner or weaker, it's just a softer, different sound. So when you're practicing, a thing that I really find helpful is to practice in front of a mirror so you can watch your technique Use a voice memo a recorder on your phone or GarageBand or some recording device so that you can record yourself and listen back with a very critical ear. So when you have moments where you nailed whatever you're working on, congratulate yourself, keep practicing those, but spots that are a little bit weaker and need a bit more focus, you'll be able to recognize critically that those are uh, practice points. Um, when you're practicing this left-hand tone idea, think about how you approach playing notes within scales, within melodies of your tunes with your double stops in first position and second, third, fourth, up the neck. Uh, all the little tiny variables, the micro movements are important for developing the type of clear and articulate and accurate tone that, uh, and sound of the notes that we're, we're after. Uh, so I hope that is helpful. I hope that you're able to take a little bit of that and go practice it. And I think I'm fixing to go do the same thing. Thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. And uh, peace to you all.